friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Jackie. And let's get started. She did what with Dollar Tree items? Here are the challenge items. A placemat chosen by Chantel at Crafty Hints. A chalkboard chosen by myself. I actually used a couple. Foam trays chosen by Lynn over at Hot Mess and Hot Glue. A shower curtain chosen by Favi at Arrows DIY, but I actually use a different one. Some yarn chosen by Connie over at Connie Creatives Creations. And stickers chosen by Melissa at Melissa Makes It DIY. Okay, first up, these lovely foam trays. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> no, not yet. We'll come back to these later. <laughs> okay, DIY number one. <laughs> I'm going to begin with these three glass beach sand bottles. And I'm going to remove all the packaging. And with my straight razor scraper i'm going to remove all the wording so they look like this and so now i'm going to go in with these little bones they're plastic and i'm going to choose the smallest ones because the larger ones they don't fit and i'm just going to place them inside the bottle and now i'm going to take some of this sawdust that actually came from my little tabletop miter saw and i don't know why i saved it but i saved it but I'm, now i'm glad i did because this is what I can use it for. So I'm going to fill this up with some of the sawdust so it looks like this. And I'm calling this crushed bone meal. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so then I picked up this package of rings and they are bats and skulls, but I don't do skulls. So I'm just going to do the bats and I'm going to snip off all of the little ring parts, but I will utilize them. So I'm going to stick all the little bats in there and then the little ring parts I'm going to put them in another bottle and I'm going to and I'm going to use these as spider legs yeah Spooky. <laughs> they look like spider legs too and I'm also going to go in with this pick this Halloween floral pick with these berries and I'm going to put them in there to kind of simulate spider eggs maybe hmm I don't know but yeah I'll just put those in there just a few not a lot so now that I have my little goodies and my bottles now I'm going to utilize my dirty paint water <laughs> it looks so dirty it looks so yucky because it's got gray and black and all kinds of colors so I'm going to fill these bottles up two of them anyway I'm going to fill up two of these bottles with some of this water but now they're looking too much alike so I'm also going to go in with some of my white dirty water and I put a lot in the first bottle and I put a little bit in the second bottle but now they're still looking too much alike I like the color that is created but it's looking they're looking too alike so I'm going to add a little bit of blue to the middle bottle and shake it up and so my middle bottle is going to be called Boo Berry Bat Juice. And then the spider one is going to be called Greasy Spider Legs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with these little chalkboard labels. And I'm just going to place them on the bottles like this. And now I'm going to use some of these rub-on transfers. So many good transfers. It's hard to choose. So I decided to use the bats for my bat juice, my blueberry bat juice. And I ended up utilizing three of these rub-on transfers. They're all bats, two big ones on each side, and then a teeny tiny one on the bottom center. And these things work so well. Oh my goodness, I love these things. Love the rub-on transfers. And they do so well with glass. It was just really perfect. Okay, so then I'm taking another pack and I'm going to cut out these spiders and I'm going to use this for my greasy spider legs. Because of course, gotta have some spiders. And again, they work perfectly, and especially on glass. And they just come up and look at that, perfect. So I just use, I think two or three of these little spiders on this bottle here. So it looks like this. Look at this. So cute. So now I'm taking a chalk 
piece of chalk to kind of prime all the little chalkboards and it also helps to make make them look like a little, they're a little bit old and dusty and now with my Cricut I created these cut files these words and so I can label my items and so this one is going to be called greasy spider legs and again if you don't have a Cricut you can use chalk you can use stickers from the Dollar Tree. You can use rub-on transfers. You can use a chalk marker. You can use all kinds of stuff. But if you do have a Cricut, then you have a great opportunity to use all the different fonts. And it's great. So this one is my crushed bone meal. Look at that. And I used a font that looks very spooky. I'll list everything in my description box for you guys. So you guys have it. And then this one is my Boo Berry Bat Juice. And look how the colors kind of settled and they look kind of eerie and spooky. I love this. Oh my goodness, these bottles are so cute. So now I'm gonna go in with some of this creepy cloth. Love using the creepy cloth. And I'm gonna cut this piece in thirds and I'm just going to embellish and make it look spooky on the outside like this. And these are done. What do you guys think? So as I mentioned earlier, this is the She Did What with Dollar Tree items and our host is Chantel over at Crafty Hints and participating is Melissa at Melissa Makes It DIY and Connie over at Connie's Creative Creations and Favi over at Arrows DIY and Lynn over at Hot Mess and Hot Glue and myself, Jackie at Crafting in Mimi's World. And we are each crafting with the same six type of items, but our choice of the many that Dollar Tree has available. So this is a super fun challenge, very challenging for sure. And with this challenge, there's a playlist. So when you're done viewing my video, please head on over to my description box, follow the link that's there. And also I'll pin it in my comments and watch what everybody else has created with these six items. I'm so looking forward to see what everybody else created because I know this was challenging. <laughs> okay, so so far I've used my easy items, my stickers, and my chalkboard. Okay, back to this foam tray. Nope, it's gonna wait. <laughs> okay, DIY number two. I'm going to use another chalkboard, and I'm going to use these really cute jewel stickers, and I'm, so I'm going to roughly measure it and snip off the excess. And what's great about these jewel stickers is that they come in a long strip, so I'm just gonna add a strip on the top, and then one on the bottom. Look how cute. And they stick so well. And if you happen to not stick them correctly, they peel right off and you can fix it easily. So now I'm gonna go in with some of this Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Steel. And with my Chunky Chippy brush, I'm going to do a distressing on it because I want this chalkboard to look kind of old and dusty and kind of neglected. And I don't show it, but I also paint the rest of this little chalkboard black, like the legs and the back and everything. So it looks like this. And so now I'm going to go in with some more of these rub-on transfers. So of course I'm going to use this po these potion bottles. Look at this, it's like a little grouping of potion bottles. How cute are these and how perfect. So I'm just going to peel off the potion bottles and place them in the center of my chalkboard and rub 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 not too hard I don't want to scratch up the chalkboard but just gently rub and peel off the plastic when you see the top plastic clear you know that it's transferred completely like this so now I'm going to take another pack and I'm going to snip off another little potion bottle and do the same thing put that on there look at that it looks perfect next to the rest of this little grouping and so now I decided to use a couple of these little ghosts and put them on there as well. And look how cute. 
And with my Cricut, I cut out some more words and this one just says trick or treat. What do you guys think? For DIY number three, I am taking one of these bamboo cutting boards. And for this DIY, I'll be using my placemat. And so I chose this particular black and white placemat because it has like a rubber feel to it. And I figured it'd be perfect to place my potion bottles on top. So I cut off a piece that fits perfectly and I'm going to go in with my dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna place a Mod Podge on there and then the placemat on top. And I don't show it, but I went in with black paint for the sides and a little bit on top of the placemat itself. And I placed it on top of two candle holders that I had already painted black to create a tray. What do you guys think? Okay, all I have left is my yarn, my shower curtain, and my wonderful foam trays. <laughs> okay, DIY number four. I'm going to use some wooden beads, two different sizes, and I'm going to utilize these bamboo skewers to paint the beads. And I'm going to paint them in three colors, in pavement, two blue, and English navy, like this. So now I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And with my chunky chippy brush, I'm going to just give it a light distressing on all of them. I want these to look old and like they've been around and they've been, they're just dirty and you know, grubby. So I'll get that done. And then I'll go back in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color steel, the same thing. Just another layer of distressing just to give it more interest and character, a little bit more dimension. And I'll just do both of these sizes until I get them to look like this. Look how cute. Super cute. And once they're dry, I'm going to take my yarn. I decided to use two different colors, this blue and this black. And I'm going to join them together and add a little bit of hot glue on the tip just to make it a little pointy so it's easy to thread the beads on the yarn. And so here is my little point ready to go. And so now here are my beads, nice and dry, looking super cute. And I also added three interesting beads that I had on hand. They, they have like a spider web on them. So I thought they were perfect for this. So here they are, look how cute. So I'm just going to continue to thread these beads until they look like this. So now here I'm going to use this Pick Your Poison MDF decor piece. And it has these potion bottles on them that hang. So I just removed one and I attached it to one end of my garland. So I secured it really well with two or three good knots and I threaded the end back through the first bead. So it's nice and secure and it won't come undone. Snip off the rest. And then the other side, I'm going to create a tassel and I'm just going to thread, not thread, I'm just going to wind these on my hand a good 10 times and I'm going to take the end and secure it in place with a good couple knots like this and then I'll take another couple pieces and I'll create the rest of the tassel and secure this nice and tight and snip off the excess till it looks like this. Now we're ready to snip off the ends and give it a little haircut so it's nice and even. So it's looking really cute. But we're not gonna stop there, no. We're gonna get some more of this creepy cloth. I'm just gonna snip off a little piece of it and I'm going to add some to my potion bottle to make it look really cute. And I don't show it here, but I ended up painting this whole back of the bottle as well. So here I'm just attaching this creepy cloth and then I also take another piece of creepy cloth and I incorporate it in the end of my tassel as well. 
So here I'm just going to snip it off and place it on there and secure it with another, with actually another piece of the creepy cloth. So it looks like this. Super cute. Look at this. Give it a haircut. What do you guys think? Okay, finally the foam tray, DIY number five. I'm going to take another one of these potion bottles, these MDF potion bottles, and I'm going to set it on top of this foam tray. And with my pen, I'm just going to trace the outline of this potion bottle. And then with my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut it out like this. And I'll keep cutting it until I get all the details just like I want them. I want this little bottle to look just like the original. Look at that. Super cute. So now I'll go in with some paint. Some of the Apple Barrel paint in the color Pewter Gray. And I'll do a full coverage so it looks like this. And now I'll do the same thing to the other two bottles. And here I'm showing you how I'm drying them on these clips. And I'll paint these two bottles in English navy and khaki until they look like this. And here they are all painted. And now I'm going to embellish with some more of these beautiful rub-on transfers and stickers until they look like this. Look how cute. And here I'm going to go in with some more of this creepy cloth just to give everything a nice cohesive look like the other bottles. And now for the shower curtain. So I switched out the original shower curtain that I chose for this clear one because I decided to use this shower curtain to package up my homemade potion bottles. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm using the shower curtain, guys. I'm using the shower curtain. <laughs> so I'm just gonna snip off what I don't need. I'm gonna open it up and stick it inside like this. And then with just a little bit of scotch tape, I will secure everything in place. And that is it. I am done with this one. Look how cute. What do you guys think? And here's the final reveal of the complete spooky potion bottle vignette. What do you guys think? Kind of spooky, but yet I think it's super cute. <laughs> well, I take a moment and thank Chantel for hosting this challenge again. I always enjoy participating in it. And please head on over to my description box and follow the playlist link. And it's also pinned in my comments for more convenience and watch what everybody else has decided to create with their six items. I know for me, I'm excited to watch. This is gonna be great. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would absolutely appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and click that notification bell as well. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe and strong and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.